Hi everyone. So I have an idea and basically this is going to be an idea for like NASA, like a NASA experiment because I was watching this one video. I can add the link to this one as well of that video. And it was how our eyes would have to adapt to different lighting in another planet, star, no, not a star, um, moon or something, lunar, elsewhere apart from Earth and our moon. Depending on the sun, or I mean the star there, and also the color of that one particular type of star, since they are since they all vary in color, I guess. So it was talking about the video was talking about how our eyes would have to adjust to that, or if there is animals there, how their eyes would have to adapt to their living conditions. Um, and the same is true even here on Earth where there is animals on land that are exposed to the sun. And then there's some animals that are not exposed to the sun underneath the Earth. And their bodies also, their skin complexion also changes and is, it's more of a transparent look. And I think their eyes are even like red or something. I'm not really sure about all that though, but I was thinking about getting some vials, which I will be using water bottles and putting a small amount of dirt and trying different solutions and putting it in there. So I was thinking like bleach, you know, Clorox and different um, solutions because and maybe even filling it so one where it's barely enough so it could condensate and to see if any any growth happens and to monitor and record what happens there, or not record but just monitor because I don't have a recording device that will be able to record all the activity 24-7 um, and also filling that up just to see if anything happens. And I know if there's dirt and water for a long period of time, I think it creates some type of animals in the water, right? That even happens when the water is left stagnated. It creates like little like tadpoles and all that. So this approach will tell us if there is something out there if if the dirt is highly concentrated with these elements or the the solutions i mean the solutions and basically it will be like a lake a lake is covered with water in another planet that lake will be covered with another solution other than water. So. Yeah I want to do something like that. And just leaving it. Once I do it I'm just going to leave it there. On the. You know on the. On the shelf. And also. I mean if I had money then. Well I don't but. It would be good to do various 
types of experiments with the same solution within the vial, one where it's like maybe half the solution and like 50% of the solution and then 100% dirt within a water bottle, but the dirt only being like 30% of the bottle, the overall bottle. So it would just be like a small amount, right? And then also exposing that maybe to the sun, to the seasons outside. And maybe another one where it's like in, indoors where maybe it doesn't have any type of lighting. Just to see what would happen, if anything. 